holding up a mountain Everywhere that I go, it's a light show, I'm surrounded Bust down, bust down, bust down, bust down, bust down, bitch, I'm What's going on YouTube? It's your boy BME Rico. I was going to drop a video yesterday, but I got busy and stuff and I had to make some moves. As y'all can see, I got my hair retwisted and shit. My shit was looking kind of bogus for the past week or two, but I finally got that taken care of. But anyway, I'm going to react to if FBG Duck really got shot and stuff. I know y'all seen um, around social media that he got shot and his closest friend got killed as well. But um. We finna go ahead and see what really happened, and I'm gonna give y'all, y'all guys, my my um, thoughts on this whole situation and everything. Plus, there's a lot of clown stuff been, being said with this whole situation, so I'm gonna go ahead and resolve that real quick. Also, by the way, this clip it ain't even long. It's like the most like 17, 18 seconds, so it ain't gonna be a long clip. But after that, then I'll y'all get my thoughts. I'm trying to figure out. What the fuck is everybody giving me is get well done to some shit. You tell me how it's here, too. Bitch, I'll say any fucking thing on the internet. And I'll get some of my nerves. All right, that little clip right there that I just tell y'all, he wasn't shot or nothing. He wasn't in any type of serious condition or anything with that whole situation. But, um... The original link to the video will be in the description box. It's a full video on that where I just got my clip from. So if you want to go check it out, go ahead. It'll be in the description box down below. But my whole thing about what I was saying earlier in this video about people saying clown shit in it is people was trying to say at first before we actually found out that Doug wasn't shot and all that shit with his closest friend, but with his close friend, not closest, I should say, but close friend. But um, anyway... He was trying to say all oh, C six nine had his boys do this and that, nigga. Six nine does not have any weight or pool in Chicago whatsoever. Period. Not even a little bit. Not even by a percentage. Like this nigga has no pool. So who, all the little six nine stands that wanted to say that he had something to do with that whole situation? Y'all dumb as hell. Clowned out, bro. He ain't had shit to do with it. Either way, if Duck was shot or not, he had nothing to do with that whole situation with his friend getting shot, period. It's just niggas had ops in a city. It's, it's like that every day for y'all that been following the Chicago drill scene and all that shit. Y'all know it, 6 ix 9 definitely had no, no shit to do with that shit. So we gonna end that right there. But basically, it's just always everyday thing in Chicago. Just niggas was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Like... Everybody losing everybody, so a lot of stuff been going on. It's just everyday things, man. Like a lot of us, of course, would have loved to see that this shit stop and end. Cause if them, if all them niggas put their differences aside and made music together, no doubt about it, Chicago would be taking over in this music shit, all that shit, bro. Just because there's a lot of niggas that's still alive that can actually do this rapping shit. Period. We done already lost a lot of artists, though, due to this um, drill shit and, and niggas being enemies and shit. So, it's a lot of been, uh, it's a lot of been lost through this all the years since 2012, all that shit. Since they got um, big and blowed up off the drill scene music and all that shit. But, um, yeah, that's, like I said, that was clown shit. And 6 ix 9 ain't had shit to do with that. So, y'all that actually thought 6 ix 9 had something to do with it, y'all played y'all. So, period. But, um... Prayers go out to his friend and his family, and I just hope that don't nobody else get shot or killed. Cause like I said, I'd rather see all these niggas making it and all that, doing everything they can to get put on and get their family good and all that shit. So they don't even have to worry about running into their ops or enemies anywhere. Like niggas should be able to live and make their music and make that bread. You know, like motherfuckers don't never want to stop somebody from taking um, want to see anybody being taken from their grind and all that shit. Like I said. Um, but Duck, as y'all can see through that little clip, he he's not shy. He wasn't harmed in any way or circumstance, so that's all I did. Um, but yeah, like I said, I was supposed to make a video on this yesterday, but I didn't get to. But now y'all know the truth. He Duck wasn't shot. His friend was, however, killed though throughout the whole thing. And this other little shit, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just go ahead and talk about too is. 6 9 that boy ain't taking nothing but L's, my guy. Simple. Like, 
you got exposed for trying to get another Chief Keith baby mama to come out to New York and shit, but she wasn't going, bro. She already knew what the fuck you was on. Like, she ain't finna make herself look goofy as hell like her, like the other baby mama you done got in the video. And you got the, probably the least most attractive one out of all his baby mamas to come to New York. So you hold that L, my God, someone she known to be just out here like that. So... You taking a whole L. Plus, you spent all this money to make it like to make it seem like you was gonna get this nigga mad. When in reality, that nigga did not give a fuck. Like you paying, you spending all this money on the thought for one. Two, he gives no fuck about her because clearly he don't even fuck with her like that. Like all we know right now is she's just his baby mom. Period. So you really took an L on that. And from when I seen your baby mama, she had a lot of shit to say about that. So shit, you was talking all that shit, but she just basically exposed the truth about your ass. You putting on this character for all these other females, but she said like like she said in her live, I ain't got the um clip for it, but in her live she was saying how you know not to pull that shit with her. Period. Like not to say you you a big player, all this and that. You get bitches and all that. She said that's a no go for you, my guy. So simple, but. Anyway, that's all I got for right now on this whole little situation. Um, like I said, RP and condolences to FBG Ducks friend and family. Um, like I said, we hopefully one day we'll see this shit in and motherfuckers make it out to Chicago. Like this shit probably ain't gonna never stop anyway. Like I said, Swag Nero even said like this shit will probably never stop just because of the simple fact that too much people being lost throughout this whole thing, and then it's a lot of egos going on that ain't gonna let this shit stop like it's just too much shit going on so all this is gonna continue to go until motherfuckers come out of chicago and stop going back or being around 24 7 but like i said this is an everyday thing but if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like comment and subscribe if you're brand new um help me get to 200 right now i'm at 118 subscribers help me get to that 200 wave you know Gotta go ahead and get to that 200 so I can keep growing my channel and all that shit. And I'll be able to do most shit for y'all and all that. But um, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later with another video. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we'll check it out. It's probably going to be reacting to music now because I've been um, not reacting to any music lately. But I'm going to start back reacting to, to the, all that shit. So you guys go ahead and let me know in the comment section what y'all want me to react to. Like what artists, anything. But um, give me ideas and all that shit. But I'll see you guys later. Peace. Back when I was broke, they was cool with it Now every move I make, I'm in the news with it Even if I ain't do it, they be like, you did it